be talking about beliefs, how to identify your current beliefs and how to create beliefs that are going to create the life that you really want for, to enable you to make the big leap that you want to make on this 21 day program. If this is the only thing you learn on this program, it's enough to change your life. So let's focus. A belief is a filter through which you see the world. Often our beliefs are formed in childhood and we can believe all sorts of things about the world, good and bad, positive and negative. It's like wearing a pair of sunglasses on your face all the time and it may be rosy coloured sunglasses or it may be very dark sunglasses. The world is awful, oh, terrible, terrible. Oh, the world is fabulous and great and oh, those men over there are lovely and oh, isn't life wonderful? So it depends on which sunglasses you're wearing to how you see the world. So when I was writing my big peace book, I was very, very lucky to be able to interview neuroscientists from all over the world. And what was extraordinary and very, very exciting because of all the new research that's been done on the brain recently, is that by the very thoughts that we have and the beliefs that we have, we actually change the structure of our brain. Norman Deutsch, who's a psychiatrist and a psychoanalyst, he talks about the brain being like a muscle. And he, he's written a fantastic book called The Brain That Changes Itself. All this is called neuroplasticity. That's the name. I can never quite say it right, but that's the name of what happens to the brain when you start changing your thoughts. Um, but it's, it's like the old adage, if you, don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. And it's really true about the brain. And it's been literally shown that we, when we change our thought processes, we literally grow a new network of neurons and connections in our brains. And the old networks wither and die. And this is scientifically, scientifically proven because what they're showing is, you know, the MRI scans that you, that, you know, you, they take photographs of the brain. Because of all this new technology, They've been able to see what happens when people think thoughts and ding, bits of your brain light up and other bits don't. So they've been, you know, it's very new research, it's very exciting research, which is showing perhaps what the self-help industry has been saying for years and years and years, what you focus on expands. But now, finally, we have some scientific proof to show this true. You have got networks of neural grooves or neural pathways in your brain. Um, I interviewed this fantastic uh, scientist called Dr. David Hamilton, and he's wonderful. He wrote a book called How the Mind Can Heal the Body, and he literally talks about growing a garden in your brain. So, you know, grow beautiful, blossoming flowers in your brain rather than these evil, horrible weeds that take root somewhere. So, what we're talking about here is how to grow a blossoming garden versus a horrible garden of weeds, and how do we do that? The first step is to identify actually what do I believe? What do I believe about myself? And what do I believe about life? Those two things are the questions you're gonna be asking all the way through the 21 day program. So when you find yourself leaping, you're gonna be doing a lot of leaping, you can ask yourself, what do I really need to believe right now about myself and about life? But let's just take it back a step and ask what do you believe now? So I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and I want you to get grab um, pen and paper and just jot down the answers to these questions. Don't worry if you don't get them down straight away because I'm going to send it to you through the Our Big Life site too. So you're going to have it as homework too if you wish or we can do it now if you want to. So grab a pen, grab a paper and let's go. Before we look at the negative beliefs that run in your life, I want to look at the top seven negative beliefs that seem to be running many of my clients' lives. So coming in at number seven is I'm inadequate. Number six, I'm unlovable. Number five, I'm a fake. Number four, I'm going to fail. Number three, I'm not worthy. Number two, I'm lazy. And number one, I'm not good enough. So now we've heard the top seven negative beliefs, now we're going to look at your negative beliefs. So go and get a pen and paper and we're going to go through some questions that I want you to write the answers for. If you need to press pause, no problem, take as much time as you want.
So, off the top of your head, we're going to do question number one. What happens to people like you? Just write down what happens to people like you. Do you fail? Succeed? Do you lose the people that you love? Just write down. It doesn't matter if it's negative, positive, just write down. I'll give you a moment. When you finish that, I want you to ask yourself, what will people say about you when you're dead? That's Susie Greaves. She was very enthusiastic. <laughs> that Susie Greaves, she was a right pain in the neck. Susie Greaves, oh, what a shame, eh? What will people say about you when you're dead? Next question is a kind of a double whammy. What negative feeling do you feel the most often? Is it frustration? Is it anger? Is it joy? It could be a positive emotion. But what do you, do you sense? I mean, for me, it's often exhaustion. <laughs> what is the, the negative emotion that you feel most often? Got that? And the second question coming under that is on what you believe about yourself and life when you're feeling that. Is it that things never work out for you? That you've got to keep going, keep going, keep going because no one supports you? That you've got to do it all by yourself? That you're not good enough so you've got to overextend all the time? What? So last question is, what would you have to believe to have a life that you currently have? So the concept is, your life is almost like a hologram of what you believe. If you believe you're good enough and you can do it, that your life will show that. And there may be some areas in your life that you need to work on, be it relationships or money or career. So go through every area of your, of your life, career, relationships, money, love. What would you have to believe in each area of those lives to have it to be exactly the way it is now? So in relationships, it may be that you're, you're, you're happily married. Great, I believe I can be loved. Fantastic. But in the money, you're skint. So what is it? What is that belief there around money that makes your bank balance look the way it does? So let's look at the, all the beliefs that you have currently running in your life that has your life looking as it currently does. So, that wasn't so good, was it? Negative beliefs? Is everyone feeling really low now? Okay, don't panic.